Hi, kindergartners! It's me, Miss Mooney. This week for our read aloud, we've been reading Leo, the late bloomer. It's one of my favorite stories. And in the book, do you remember how Leo, at the beginning of the story, he can't do very many things, remember? He tried and tried to do the things his friends could do, and he was just having some trouble. But by the end of the story, Leo bloomed, and he could do all the things his friends could do. It just took him a little more time to learn. So for this story, we are going to make a craft of a flower that on each petal, we're going to draw the things that we've been able to learn how to do, the things that we bloomed to be able to do. So what I need you to do today is get out from your second round of school supplies. So what you got from your teacher last week, we gave you this paper that has this these flower petals on it and it's stapled. There's two pages there. And then there's also a folded up blue paper. So I need you to get those things out today. And then you also need to get out your supply box. We're gonna be writing and coloring on our flower. So I need you to get both of those things out. So you can pause your video and go get those materials. All right, friends, now that you have those materials out, we're gonna get started making our flower craft. And this is a long craft, so it's gonna take us the next couple of days because we really wanna take our time and do a really good job on our flowers. So this is gonna be the middle part of our flower, and then these are gonna be the petals, and there's more on the other side. But we're gonna start today with this circle section. So go ahead and point to that circle section on your flower. On that part, we're gonna write the words, I can. Just like Leo learned how to do many things, we're gonna be writing about the things we've learned how to do. So I'm gonna write I, and when I write the word I, I always use an uppercase I. And then I'm gonna do a space. I'll use my finger to make a space. Then I'm gonna write the word can. We learned this word a few weeks ago. I'll sing my little song to help me remember how to spell it. Can you spell can? C A N C A N. I can. Now on the petals, we're going to draw pictures of things that we can do. So think about something that maybe you learned how to do maybe recently or even a long time ago. I know something that I can do that's pretty fun. I can jump rope. I practiced that for a long time and I learned how to jump rope with a jump rope. So I'm going to draw a picture of me. I'm happy when I jump rope. I make sure I have a body. There's my hands. I'm gonna wear a skirt in this picture. Uh-oh, I forgot my hair. I'm gonna make a ponytail today. I like to wear my hair in a ponytail a lot. And I'm gonna draw the jump rope here. So you hold on to it, there's the handles. And the rope goes up around you. And I'm gonna make these movement lines to make it look like I'm jumping. I can jump rope. And let me think of one other thing that I've learned how to do. Oh, I know, I know. I can ride a bike without training wheels. Can any of you guys do that? If not yet, just keep practicing. One day you'll bloom and be able to do it. So I'm gonna draw a bike without training wheels. There's one wheel, there's another. They're kind of connected by like a bike frame that looks sort of like this. And then it has a seat up here. I think bikes are really hard to draw. I'm gonna just try my best. That's something I haven't really learned yet. I haven't bloomed into being able to drive a, or draw a bicycle. There's the wheels. I'm just trying my best, just like Leo did in the story. Sometimes you have to fake it till you make it. 
And then I'll try to draw me up here. I always wear a helmet when I'm riding my bike. Safety first as a strap that comes around the front. And then this I think is like the trickiest part. I'm always touching the handlebars with even both hands. I don't know how to ride with one hand. And my body sits on the seat. Oh, I forgot the pedals. And then I'll try to put my feet down here on the pedals. Oh, it's so tricky to draw. I'm just trying my best. Oh, I forgot my hair. Gonna make movement lines. Uh-oh, I messed up my face a little bit, but I'll just work on making it look okay. Beautiful oops. And let me finish my body. All right, maybe when I add color, it will look a little better. So friends, I wrote, I can. And today I thought of two things that I can do. I can jump rope and I can ride a bike without training wheels. I'm gonna color these and I'm gonna do my very best. I'm gonna think about kind of what I want my flower to look like. Since this is the middle, I think I want the middle of my flower to be solid yellow. And try to stay in the lines when I color these. But if I get out of the lines, it's okay because we are gonna cut these out. So it'll be okay, I can cut the mistakes out if I get outside the lines. All right, friends, well, I'm gonna keep coloring and I'm gonna color my petals and my people too. But I don't want to make the video go any longer because I wanna give you time to work on your flower. So today, all you're gonna do is write the words, I can in this circle. And then in your first two petals, you're gonna draw a picture of something you can do. So have fun doing that today, friends. And I'll see you again tomorrow for the next part of this exciting craft.